Alright guys, you know what it is, early game daily news, your daily gaming news with your host Amidun Doon Moon. Today I only got three pieces for you. The Nintendo 4K Switch rumors, which are not going anywhere and I'm telling you that shit's real. What's the other one? Star Wars, a new game, and something on the FIFA EA drama. Alright, Nintendo 4K Switch. Nate the Hate Podcast correctly predicted N64 games coming to the Switch. So there's that. Bloomberg, we told you about that, talked to 12 game developers who all said they had Nintendo 4K Switch dev kits. Why would 12 of them lie? Uh, that's too much. A dozen people lying? No. Also, one of them then denied it. I think it was Zynga. Nate the Hate says Zynga denied it because they signed an NDA. And then Nintendo, if you remember, came out and said, there's no 4K Switch, it's all a lie. But now, Nate the Great, on his podcast, I put the link in the description, that's an hour long, I can't clip you all of this. Said, wrong card, good stuff. The Nintendo, uh, the... Jesus. <laughs> the release window is 2022, late or early 2023. It might be a successor and not a Switch Pro, which might be why Nintendo said there's no new Switch coming, there's no new Switch version coming, and then they're gonna co go back to it and be like, what well, a new Switch, <laughs> it's not a Switch, you know, you know what I mean? But apparently it's a successor. The developers were surprised by the OLED because they were ready for 4K Switch games and working on it with the dev kit. So dev kit, so they didn't see this shit coming at all. And the new titles apparently will not be backwards compatible. It would make sense if it's a successor because then it's not a Switch at all. So why would they be, right? I mean, why would it be backwards compatible? It's just PlayStation's doing it, Xbox is doing it, everybody's doing it. And you could reset your Switch games. Fuck, I should be working for Nintendo. <laughs> So all of this info and more in the podcast, in the link below. Yo, in the comment section on that last video, y'all told us we lying and Bloomberg is lying and God damn it, I'm gonna be, this is gonna be the biggest I told you so in the cover. I'm, there will be a new Star Wars game. We got a pick from the official Star Wars website and you see here a game in December. What that is, we don't know. We have rumors from Kotaku saying that Quantic Dreams is working on a Star Wars game. And we have rumors that we also wrote about that EA confirmed Jedi Fallen Order 2. Which game we're getting in December, we don't know, but we do know that the Quantic game apparently is not as text story based as like a Heavy Rain and a, what was the other called, Detroit or Beyond Souls. Apparently it's much more action oriented and open world and multiplayer. So maybe it's either of the two, but the whole thing is called Bring home the bounty. The bounty. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Maybe some Mandalorian game. We don't know, but we'll see in December. There's also the Game Awards, so maybe that ties in together. We'll see. The FIFA. The FIFA. The FIFA. 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 Jesus Christ. Can I can F mehr sprechen? The FIFA and EA drama continues. Apparently, FIFA. The franchise, the organization, wants a billion dollars from EA every four years for the licensing. Now EA is taking that money from the gambling addicts that they cultivated in Ultimate Team over the years. If you have a gambling addict willing to pay and pay and pay, you don't want to give that money away. What the fuck is this? It will be like tax in casinos. And also, if you're thinking, who the fuck cares about EA having to pay money? Who the fuck cares? I want to know if you still are trying to tell me that I'm lying about the Nintendo 4K Switch. I'm fucking telling you it's happening and I told you so, it's gonna be sweet. See you tomorrow.